I bet you didn't know website cloning could be this simple. Today we're mastering HTTrack on Kaylee Linux. Let's get started. Hey ethical hackers. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, this tutorial will guide you through the process step by step. HTTrack is a powerful tool that allows you to download a worldwide website from the internet to a local directory, building all directories recursively, getting HTML, images and other files from the server to your computer. Today, we're going to learn how to clone a website using HTTrack on Kaylee Linux. First, open up your terminal. Type sudo apt-get install HTTrack and hit enter. This command will download and install HTTrack on your system. If you already have HTTrack installed, you can skip this step. This installs HTTrack if you don't already have it. The installation process might take a few minutes so, be patient. Once the installation is complete you should see a confirmation message in your terminal. Next, create a new directory for your cloned website files. Type mkdr my website clone and press enter. This command creates a new directory named my website clone where all the files of the cloned website will be stored. Switch to this new directory with cd my website clone. Now let's start the cloning process. Type h at track, followed by the website URL you want to clone. For example, a track http dash slash slash example dot com. Press enter and h2track will start downloading the site's files. This process might take some time depending on the size of the website and your internet speed. HTD track will create a mirror of the website on your local machine. You can monitor the progress in the terminal window. Once the download is complete, you will see a download complete message. Once it's done, you can view your clone site by opening the quote index.html quote file in your browser. Just type Firefox index.html quote and there you go. Your cloned website should now be fully functional and accessible offline. Remember, use this tool ethically and only on sites you have permission to clone. Unauthorized cloning of websites can lead to legal issues and is against the principles of ethical hacking. Always ensure you have explicit permission from the website owner before cloning any site. Like for ethical testing, comment your method, and subscribe for more Kali hacks. Happy hacking! Stay tuned for more tutorials and tips on ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. See you in the next one.